Hi, it's Kathleen from Bailey Academy, mom of five, homeschooling three of them, ages 10, 13, and 17. Um, today I wanted to do a little video uh, recapping the grade four homeschool year of my now 10 year old. Um, so we do a lot of homeschooling that's not used with curriculum. I make up a lot of it myself, but I did use some curriculum throughout the year and some worked and some did not. So this is my hits and misses for grade four. Um, so starting with math, we started off with Math Smart, uh, which is just a uh, workbook from the popular book company, and uh, it uh, you know worked well. It was mostly on grade stuff that she needed more practice with or, or new stuff she hadn't learned. So it's pretty good for like grade four being where grade four is at, um, and it worked pretty well. Um, she didn't love it, but she doesn't really love school, uh, but. That's what we used. And then we switched to Learn Math Fast because we got a chance to try it out by the company and some other, other kids were not doing as well with their math. So we tried that out. I have a video of unboxing Learn Math Fast and another video about how to use it with more than one kid. And I'll have an official review coming up as well um, so you can get ready to use it for the fall if that's what you so choose. So we're using Learn Math Fast now, all three of my kids. So when you if you see the other videos of there, I'll be mentioning that too. And so, uh, my grade four is still on book one, but that is perfectly, sounds like that's behind, but it's not. That's book one is where she should be. So that's what she's doing right now. And uh, for English language arts, uh, we've kind of bumped, or not bumped, jumped all over the place. We started off with lightning literature, which we also got from the company. And it's a good program. I liked how it was laid out. Um, we didn't do the writing portion of it because my daughter really struggles with uh, handwriting and even just writing in general and it ended up being too much for us. Um, the books they chose were good, although I did have trouble finding one of the books. Um, I, and we ended up finding find an online version um, of a YouTube reading of it because I couldn't find a book anywhere. The only thing that we made us not continue lightning literature for the most part was just that it, it was a lot of work and um, I, I find that I, I personally, like not necessarily my daughter, but I prefer to be able to pick the books that either I want her to read or she wants to read or even just like picking from what we already have. It's so hard to use a library book because sometimes they need it back before you're done with it. It's really kind of annoying. So I prefer, but I can't also just buy a whole bunch of new books just because that's what the curriculum says. So we found out this year, it's one thing that we learned, that we don't do well, our family personally, with curriculums that say, read this book, then this book, then this book. Um, as I'll mention in my grade seven video, uh, the same thing happened with him with his curriculum. So from now, the rest of the year, we've just been reading, I have a bunch of, you know, books that we're not using for read alouds that are around her age group. And she just reads, 20 minutes a day from those. Not so much now because it's the last couple weeks of school, we're just sort of coasting along, but that's what she was doing for the last few months anyway. And then uh, I didn't worry about um, anything like the work to do with that book because we were doing other stuff too. So we started off with lightning literature, which included her reading and her spelling, or not spelling, reading and grammar, that's the word I was looking for, um, and reading comprehension and stuff like that. We were also using All About Spelling, level one, which we also got from the company. We've been trying a lot of things out this year. And it was awesome. My daughter loved it, and she loves very little for school. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't afford to get level two, so we tried out a couple other different things that we found free online. I found 36 weeks of fourth grade, which um, I think I paid for, but it was like, a, like an online document that you just pay a little bit for. I'll try to link everything I'm mentioning down the description. Um, it was okay. It basically gives you a list of words and then it, it had activities on sheets that you could print out the sheets. So all we did was we used those words. And then she had another thing that I got from somewhere else that said like different things you can do, like, you know, the rainbow words and the pyramid writing, if you know what those are. Um, or like, you know, she could just write them with whiteboard marker on the window or say them out loud. So she even signed language, sign language, that's not a word did them in sign language for me a couple times. So that worked out well, but we found that a lot of the words were either too easy or way too hard. She's kind of like 
all over with what level she is in spelling. It's not actually like she's in, at a grade three or four or five or anything level. Some words that you sh she knows how to spell that are pretty hard and other words that I think are easier she doesn't know how to spell. So it's hard to use a word list from someone else. We also tried Scholastic Success that I found online and it was okay. Just wasn't for her. We tried Spelling uh, Practice from McGraw-Hill what we ended up using the last little while again it was okay it's just nothing is clicking as working well for her and because she doesn't like spelling it's she's not getting better at it because she doesn't enjoying it so I need to find a spelling curriculum she enjoys um, so I don't know I'm going out this weekend and hoping I can find something for her to use um, so we we haven't been doing spelling in the last couple weeks like I said last couple weeks we just kind of doing less and less school um, <laughs> as we kind of like get in not sick of it I love teaching and uh some of my kids one of my kids loves learning anyway but uh you know you get tired of it and you want to just have a break you need your summer um uh, we also uh switched to Beowulf grammar for the grammar uh that's by Guest Hollow and uh I purchased that although they did give us a discount to share about it and so I haven't done a review of it yet and we haven't gotten very far in it we will be continuing it next year for sure though we do well, I like it. Again, my daughter not so much liking much things, but I think she likes it better than some of the other ones we did. Um, I think she just doesn't like grammar in general, which I'm sure is true of most children. <laughs> most children don't like, and even adults, don't like grammar. Um, as I told her, it's one of those things you kind of have to keep learning every year because it's complicated and you just build on what you know. So it's not going to go away anytime soon. So at least we can have fun with Beowulf the dog. So... Like I said, for the last little while we've been doing free reading, Beowulf grammar, and uh, a little bit of spelling, different trying different things here or there, but nothing that's really stuck. So I know at least for next year that I don't want a, a literature curriculum. I want to pick books, maybe do some book studies with her, or I'm not sure exactly, I'm still working it out, but I do know that we're going to use Beowulf's grammar for sure. And I'm looking for a spelling curriculum. So if you have an idea, something that's budget friendly, let me know. And if it's not, and I can find it used, even better. For science and history and geography, we do stuff. We did stuff together this year. The grade four and the grade seven did stuff together. My son, the grade seven, does not like to do stuff together. So since he'll be in grade eight and getting close to high school anyway, he's going to be doing more things on his own. Which means, since my grade eight rising grade 12 will also be doing most of his stuff on her own that leaves my rising grade five or grade four this year doing a lot of stuff on her own so since she's younger and probably doesn't want to sit and do work all by herself all day um i will be doing some stuff with her and there'll be something she does on her own and some things that we do together like the veil of grammar we do together but for science and geography and history she's gonna be doing differently from her grade seven brother because he needs to do more in-depth uh, complicated things and there's some things that you know I would love her to learn that he's already learned and stuff like that so I'm still working on that but it will be made by me just meaning that like I usually what I did this year was I picked a theme I also asked the kids for some inspiration onto what they wanted to learn about but let's say like I know my daughter loves animals so if we want to do a zo zoology month we'll do a zoology month but I will find materials uh, books at the library videos to watch documentaries uh, worksheets, um, games, science experiments, things like that. I'll find a bunch of stuff and just throw it together myself. One of these days I'll do a long video on how I do that so that anybody who wants to try it can get an idea of what I do. For languages, we started off the year for French, which is the language that we do together, or not together, but like in our home because it's required here in Canada. So I chose to be, do it in homeschool. I started off with, um, it's not French smart, it's something like that. It's a, another little workbook and it worked out well for her. My grade seven was too hard for him. So we ended up doing something different for him. Then we were just switching and doing stuff together. And lately we just haven't been doing French at all. I also originally started off, she wanted to learn ASL. So we were going to do that separately End up being too much. And we did end up doing that. Now next year she wants to learn Spanish. So I haven't decided yet if we're going to learn French continually and also learn Spanish, learn only Spanish. I still working on I'm stuck in my head that you're supposed to learn French in grade school in Canada and I don't know if I'm okay with her learning just a different language when French is kind of important too but I get it because I like Spanish more than French too 
I don't know what we're using for Spanish. I think we discussed and decided that we're going to use a bunch of different things mixed together. So if we get a chance to get a Spanish curriculum, cool, but we'll also add in other stuff. And if we don't, then we'll just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I took Spanish in high school and taught myself Spanish after that. So I'm certainly not fluent, but I do know some Spanish so we can work on it together and maybe I'll learn some more words too. Um, art and music, we did every Friday for the most part. We skipped a few. Uh, I just put it together myself. I found things to do, found resources on Teachers Pay Teachers or Twinkle or uh, just made it up myself. Um, found lots of art to do on my favorite art websites, which I'll also do a video for at some point, but Deep Space Sparkle is a good one uh, that I can think of the name of off the top of my head. They have lots of activities. You just find one, find stuff that you have materials for and go ahead and do it. So I don't know yet how that's going to change next year. But that's what we did. We didn't have a curriculum per se. Actually, I think we started out the, the beginning of the year with how to teach your children art or art to children or something like that. I ended up getting rid of that. I couldn't even sell it. It was not a bad book. It was just too young for my children. It's more for kindergarten to grade six as in like you've been working on it through the whole year, not started in grade four and grade seven. So I don't recommend that book if your kids are older. Am I missing anything? Um, shh, puppy. Shh. Come here, whiny dog. Um, I'm trying to think if we missed anything else, but we get math, English, science, history. Oh, health. Um, I, for most part, for health, we did um, these little booklets that I purchased from Teacher Resource Cabin. Um, they're Canadian, which is not, eh, which is nice, but a lot of the materials could absolutely be used for the U.S. too. One second. Sorry about that. For health, teacher resource cabin. Um, you buy them. It's a booklet. You print off all the pages, and you, the kids work through them. So it just gives them the information and asks them questions to see if they're paying attention, or has them draw or illustrate or something, depending on what it is. Um, I can show you actually real quick. Okay, so I don't have the covering cover page table of contents. This one is uh, was the health for specifically for grade four, um, like puberty and body changes and hygiene and stuff like that. So like starts off with and excuse my daughter's writing uh, the no wonder learn chart the KWL humans are unique. You know what makes you unique? Visible differences and visible differences. Your body's changing, you know, adolescence, what that means. So each of them has little activities to do on the pages. Like that. So that's from Teacher Resource Cabin. You can get it from their website or through their Teachers Pay Teachers store. And uh, my kid's not fans of it, but I thought it was cool. They also have stuff that's not health, too. Um, we did uh, one on the Canadian government and uh they had science ones we did a flight one one year um so i guess we're not going to continue those anymore because the kids are getting kind of over it i guess but i think it's a really cool resource if your kids don't mind worksheets and i think that is it i think i've mentioned everything sorry the dog's just drinking water uh that was our hits and misses for grade four so basically i'll recap our hits were Everything that we did together, art, music, science, history, and geography, um, just kind of putting things together works well for us. And our misses was that math wasn't wasn't bad. We just switched it anyway. But the English language arts, um, lightning literature, again, nothing wrong with it. Just didn't work for us. All about spelling was great. So that was a hit. And uh, Beowulf grammar has been a hit. But all the spelling other one than other than all about spelling has been a miss. So I'm still looking for a spelling curriculum. So if you have suggestions, I am open to, and I'm all ears, I should say. Um, so yeah, that's our hits and misses, and stay tuned if you wanna see the grade seven or grade 11 one.